We've previously discussed spatial resolution, or the size of a pixel in an image. Today we're discussing spectral resolution, which describes what you can see and interpret within that pixel. The visible spectrum of light, or what the human eye can see, ranges from red to violet, the colors of a rainbow. Satellite imagery is often interpreted using the red, green, and blue spectral bands, providing what we call a natural color image. But advanced satellites use infrared sensors to collect information beyond the visible spectrum, giving us a deeper understanding of what's happening on our planet. For example, near-infrared lets you distinguish between objects that can look identical to the naked eye, like natural grass and artificial turf on a football field, but which have very different and distinct spectral signatures. Moving even further beyond the visible spectrum is shortwave infrared, or SWIR. Using a combination of visible, near-infrared, and SWIR, we can see and interpret features that were previously hidden in conventional satellite imagery. This reveals new and valuable insights, including mineral identification for energy and mining exploration, vegetative analysis and classification of plant type, age, and health, man-made material identification of things like steel, fiberglass, and paint, and penetrating through smoke and haze to help emergency responders and wildlife management. Here's a real-world example. The following three images were all collected with Worldview 3 on the same pass. Just by selecting different band combinations, we can adjust different needs and applications. This is a natural color image of a fire in Indonesia, made up of the red, green, and blue spectral bands. The image appears as the human eye would see it in person, However, beneath the haze and smoke, you can barely make out the burned areas. When we replace the red band with the near-infrared band, which falls just outside the human visible spectrum, some of the haze disappears, and you can clearly see the fire line and distinguish between healthy, represented as red, and burned or dead vegetation, represented as brown or green. This is a better image for supporting first responders and conducting vegetative analysis. Now here's the same image using the SWIR bands, which can see through the smoke and reveal fire hotspots. Understanding the exact location and intensity of a fire helps responders dispatch resources more safely and effectively. Advanced satellites like those in the Digital Globe constellation possess unique capabilities in the near-infrared and shortwave infrared ranges. This ability unlocks insights that would otherwise be hidden and helps save time, resources, and lives.